The greatest ally you can ever depend on is the Holy Ghost. There was a time in my life that I was just so confused on what to do because I was going through a lot and it looked like life was not fair to me. The battles were too much for me to handle by myself. I later discovered that life is spiritual and it only takes those that know this to overcome challenges and storms the enemies send their way. I engaged my enemies in prayers by calling on the name of the Lord and I just watched him few months after that silence all my mockers and open doors of opportunities to me. The word of God says in Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 3 that you should call upon God in the day of trouble and he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know. All your enemies are scared of the name of the Lord when you use it against them. I decree over you that all the mockers around you are silenced in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the host of heaven will arise for you and scatter all enemies that have risen against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies will never trump over you in all ramifications. You are welcome to this channel. If today is your first time here, I am adopting you into my prayer circle and I will be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is to stay connected by hitting the subscribe button in red letter and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube reminds you when I drop any of the prayers God places in my heart for you. Please personalize these prayers for yourself and pray with a strong conviction that God will answer all your prayers. I decree that all the enemies that have vowed not to eat and drink until they see my downfall are disappointed. In the name of Jesus, I command all the forces of darkness gathered to harm me will be utterly put into confusion. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God will plead my cause for them that strive with me and he will fight against them that fight against me. I decree that all my enemies will have God to contend with as they devise my hurt and downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I command the fire of God to fall on the head of the enemies who have resolved in their hearts to not make me see peace. I bind all the powers and forces of darkness that are sending forth their evil projections against me and all members of my family. I decree that there is total restoration for me. I declare that I recover all that the enemies have stolen from me. In the name of Jesus, I decree that I take the battle to the camp of my enemies and I trounce over them whether they like it or not. Your word says, Lord, in Romans 8.37, that I am more than a conqueror through you who first loved me. I decree, I declare that I conquer all the war that the enemies are waging against me. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I draw a bloodline round about myself and all members of my family. I decree that I put on all the armor of God and I would stand all the wiles of the enemies. Your word, Lord, in Romans 10, 13 says that anyone that calls upon your name shall be saved. I call on you to come and fight against all my enemies because my strength will fail me if I depend on my sheer strength. Puny am I without you, Lord. Stand up for my help, Lord. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for me and I will hold my peace. I engage the help of God this instant because God is my greatest ally and he begins to fight all my enemies around me and my family. I decree and declare that I would never know defeat all the days of my life and I would never be deficient of God's help in Jesus name. I put my 
angel to work this instant and I pray that they begin to fight all the forces of darkness gathered against me in the name of Jesus I put an end to the operation of darkness against my destiny in the name of Jesus I destroy all the devices of darkness targeted at me destroying me and making me useless in Jesus name by the power in the name of Jesus I walk on the head of my enemies who are on the path of my greatness begin to thank God for answering all your prayers in Jesus name we have prayed I know that your prayers today are answered whether the devil likes it or not Please keep your prayer altar burning and don't forget to always pray because men ought to pray always and not faint. God bless you and keep you. When Jesus died and was buried, a big stone was placed over his tomb so that he would not come out of it. The enemies thought that God could be held down by a big stone. They have forgotten that he is the Lord of the elements and nothing can hold him captive. The tomb, which was like a trap, could not hold Jesus, a prisoner. He came out victorious. Did Jesus win the battle against grave and death for himself? No, he didn't do that for himself. He did that for you and me. This implies that you will come out of all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. You are more than victorious. You can never be held captive by all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. Rejoice! Because your victory has been sealed already over 2,000 years ago. I decree that your soul escapes as a bird from the traps of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you come out of every prison the enemy has placed you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that your finances will escape the prison the enemies have placed you. I decree that you will come out stronger and better as you come out of every prison the enemy has placed you. If Christ could not be held captive by the prison of death, and the grave I decree over you that you will never be held in bondage by the power and the prison of the evil ones by the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost I decree that your glory that has been swallowed up by the grave comes to life again in Jesus name I decree over you today that you will never be limited by the prison of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus, I pray over you that your destiny will reject being trapped in the prison of the wicked ones. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 9 that you will say to prisoners that they should go forward and to those who are in darkness that they should show themselves. I decree that you will cause men that are in captivity to come out of their bondage and you will be a lie to those that are in darkness in Jesus name by the power in the name of Jesus I pray over you that all the good things that belong to you that have been buried in the grave are resurrected now in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all members of your family I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you and your family from captivity the word of the Lord says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I decree and declare that you have escaped the captivity of that strong man in your family and you will never be a prey of the terrible in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be held hostage by evil police. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that your light breaks forth and show you a way out of every dark tunnel in your life. I decree and declare that you will be a herald of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ like the way Apostle Paul was. I decree over you that you will be above all the limitations and barriers the enemy planted on your way to fulfilling your destiny. You will always be victorious and ahead of the enemy's propaganda in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 42 verse 7 
that God will appoint you as a covenant to the people and a light to the nations to open the blind eyes to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. I pray over you that you will be a covenant to the people that need light and you will open the eyes of those that are in perpetual darkness and you will cause those that are in dungeons to escape their captivity in Jesus name. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 to 12 that God will set prisoners free because of the blood of this covenant. I pray that God will set free any member of your family that is in any form of prison by the power in the blood. I decree that all prayers we have prayed today are answered and you come back with bountiful testimonies. Please keep on praying and studying the word of God. Only through these will you seal the victory you have in Christ Jesus. I want you to know that the fire of God surrounds you because the word of the Lord said in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 that God will be a wall of fire round about you and he will be your glory. So God is telling you not to be scared of the devil and his agents attack. Anytime they try to attack you, the fire of God around you will go forth to consume them and they dare not try to penetrate the fire round about you. I declare that the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost will roast all enemies that are trying to attack you in Jesus name. Please pray these prayers in faith. Father, I pray that all enemies that are gathered round me and all members of my family be scattered. In the name of Jesus, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to go before me and consume all enemies that are plotting my downfall in Jesus name. I pray that the fire of God goes before me to the camp of my enemies and consume them. By the power in the name of Jesus, I neutralize all the attacks of the enemies that are guarded against my family and me. The word of the Lord says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 that I have the victory over my enemies through my Lord Jesus. I decree that I overcome the enemies that are gathered against me always. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 that the Lord is faithful and will strengthen me and protect me from the evil ones. I stand upon the word of the Lord and I decree that I am always protected from all my enemies that are gathered round about me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am an untouchable to all enemies round about me. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all powers of darkness that are plotting my hurt be paralyzed. The word of God says in Revelation 12, 11, that I overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the words of my testimony. I plead the blood of Jesus over me and all members of my household. In the name of Jesus, I call down fire and brimstone upon the head of all the forces of darkness ganged up against me in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Lord, in Matthew 18, 18 to 19, that whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Right now, I bind all the powers of darkness that are gathered against me in all the corners of the earth and I decree that their power is important. I decree and I declare that the enemies will fall in the trap they set for me and they will also fall into the pit they have dug for me. I decree that there is liberty for me from every limitation the devil and his cohort had placed on me. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you arise, Lord, and let all your enemies that are gathered against me be discarded. 
The word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 that the Lord will cause my enemies who are risen against me to be defeated before me and they shall come out against me in one way and flee before me in seven ways. I decree that all enemies that are gathered against me flee before me in seven ways in Jesus name. I scatter all the gathering of the powers of darkness by shooting the arrows of God at them by the power in the blood of Jesus I exempt myself from the bondage of the enemies. I declare that unfriendly friends who are penetrating to be my friends will never distract me. I declare that their plans towards me will be exposed in Jesus name. Just like the way prophet Elijah called on fire to consume all the armies that were sent to capture him in the name of Jesus. I call down the fire of the Lord to consume the enemies that are sent to capture me. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs at it and they are safe. I decree that from today I hide under the name of the Lord and I am safe and secured from the attacks of the powers of darkness in Jesus name. Begin to thank God for answering all your prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. I decree over you that you remain under the shadow of the Almighty and the fire of the Lord will go before you and consume all enemies that are gathered round about you in Jesus name. Please endeavor to keep praying because the word of the Lord says in Luke 18 1 that men are to pray always and not get tired of praying. God bless you and keep you. The very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you. You are beyond being contended with by anyone. The powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ. If God is for you, who possibly can stand against you? Even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord will take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and of offense against the enemies. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies would never frustrate God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold. I decree that the name of the Lord would exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you because cursed is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus the veil has been turned. Therefore, I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you. I decree that as you journey in life, all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on, which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose. You are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. I thank you, Lord, for answering every one of our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As believers, we are not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. When the devil attacks you, the spirit of the Lord in you will raise a standard against him. You can always be sensitive to the devil's plot because you are led by the Holy Spirit. No divination against you can stand because you are a seed of Abraham. It has been clarified specifically in the Bible in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you you shall condemn the ball now lies in your court to stand your God against the devices of the wicked ones as I will be making these prayers and declarations over your life receive them in faith as it is only by faith you will overcome the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the attacks of the evil ones at you will be nullified. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the association of the wicked ones to cause your downfall will be scattered in the name of Jesus. And I decree over you that you will not be caught unaware by the enemy's attack. By the power and the blood, I decree that the blood of Jesus shields you from the wicked one's attacks. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you abide under the secret place of the highest and you hide under his mighty wings. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not be a chill of the enemies against your loved ones. I decree over you that the enemy's attacks against your finance will fall to the ground. I decree that the mark of Jesus is upon your forehead and he, this exempts you from the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. The word of God says in Luke 10, 19 that you have been given the authority to trample the upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I decree that you work in the authority that Jesus has given to you to trample upon all the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never be a casualty of accidents and strange pandemic. The, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of your possessions. I decree that you, they will never be stolen by the enemies. 
The word of the Lord says in Ephesians 6 11 that you should put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I decree over you that you put on the whole armor of God and you are given the ability to stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The word of God would always be your weapon of offense in the name of Jesus. You are shielded from the prying eyes of the powers of darkness. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are always victorious against all the enemies gathered around you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord would encamp around you and fight against all the wicked ones plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are never confused as touching what to do when the evil ones rise against you. I decree that the joy of the Lord would always be your strength anytime it looks like you are down. By the reason of the anointing of the Lord upon you, I pray for you that the anointing in you will destroy all the yokes of the evil ones upon your shoulders. In the name of Jesus, I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for God is with you. I decree that the Lord would arise on your behalf and scatter all the enemies plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the hedge the Lord has built around you will never be taken down. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously reveal your next move to the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not fall into the traps of the enemies. I decree that the enemies will fall into the pit they have dug for you and all the members of your family. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct, and to comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his pinions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven. I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his timing is an order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the mark God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. 
by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the enemies will want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with. That will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God will always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By the power in the name of Jesus I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not you will fulfill your God-given destiny I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Holy Spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The best protection you can ever find is in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is saved. The devil's primary assignment is to steal, kill and destroy. But you can be in the pavilion of the highest and find safety. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 1, He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of God is your best hiding place and you would find solace and safety there. I declare over you that you will find safety in His name, in Jesus' name. I urge you to receive this declaration with faith. The word of God in Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is your refuge and strength and a very present help in times of trouble. I pray for you that the Lord is your refuge and strength and he will always be your present help in times of trouble. In the name of Jesus, even though you pass through the waters, God will always be with you in your trying moments. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never fall into the traps of the enemy. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 3 to 5 that God is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. I pray for you that God will establish you in his word and also protect you from the powers of darkness. I pray for you that you are strong and of good courage. You are not fearful for God is with you. I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you will see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. I decree over you that discretion will preserve you and understanding will keep you from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I pray for you that the Lord covers you under his wings and underneath his secret place shall be your trust in the name of Jesus. 
I declare over you that the wisdom of God preserves and keeps you. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that God carries you in his hands all the days of your life and you will never live his grasp. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you fear not because God is with you. I pray that God goes with you to fight for you against your enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God is for you. Therefore, no one is against you. I pray for you that God is your helper and you do not fear what man can do to you. In the name of Jesus, I scatter all the associations of demons that are plotting to cause you an accident. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the arrow that flies by day will never hit you. In the name of Jesus, you stay in God's presence and nothing takes you from his presence. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that the Lord is good to you and he is your stronghold in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would preserve you from evil work and preserve you for his kingdom. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that God is your hiding place. God shall preserve you from trouble. God will surround you with songs of deliverance. I decree that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil for God is with you. You are the apple of God's eyes. Therefore, you will not be harmed by the evil ones. God hides you under the shadow of his mighty wings and he will protect you from the wicked ones who oppress you. I declare over you that your eyes are fixed on God and your help and supply will always come from him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our prayers being answered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. There are evil companies that God wants you to stay away from as they might make you not reach your destination on time and they might make you leave the will of God for you. They might come as people that are pretending to be your friends and yet they don't want the best for you, but they still laugh with you. I pray for you that all evil company around you will stay away from you in Jesus' name. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends pretending to be good friends around you will leave your side in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all that has been slandering you behind will melt like wax behind you. The Holy Ghost will expose all the evil people around you that are impeding your progress in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 to 12 that we should have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather expose them. In the name of Jesus I expose all the activities of evil friends around you. By the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that evil friends will not allow you to leave the will of God for you. You are far above the hate of evil friends around you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be stuck in an evil friendship that will cost you in your walk with God in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I nullify every wrong agreement you might have made with evil friends in the name of Jesus. You will not wander around like a vagabond due to evil friends around you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I remove the veil the enemies have used to cover your eyes so that you wouldn't be able to differentiate the right company from the wrong one. I pray for you that the love of God in your heart will never wax cold, rather it will wax hot. I decree that evil companies would not make you stray outside the love of God in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life that you would never be lonely, which will in turn cause evil friends in locating you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I draw a demarcation between you and all the evil friends lurking around you. 
The word of God is on my lips and I decree that you would not become prey to the evil ones in the name of Jesus. I scatter every association of darkness that is disguised as friends of light around you in the name of Jesus. Just like the way Ahitophel's counsel to Absalom fell to the ground, I pray that the entire evil friend's counsel against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. You are blessed above the curses of the evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that no one will limit you from achieving your visions and dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the subtle attacks of evil associations against you are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you have risen and you are shining for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 A, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus I pronounce the judgment of the Lord against all weapons of the enemies who are pretending to be your friends. The Bible says in Isaiah 50 verse 9 that God will help you. Who is he that shall condemn you? Indeed they will all grow old like a garment. The moths will eat them up. I pray for you that all those that have been tarnishing your image and soiling your reputation are written up by the moths in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1 that there is now no condemnation to you because you are in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that there is no condemnation for you from evil friends. I decree that you jump over all the traps ungodly friends have positioned for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that evil friends that are pretending to be good and spoiling your personality to your God-ordained helpers are put to shame in the mighty name name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Bible is clear on the fact that we are not to allow the powers of darkness any breathing space as they are wicked and they won't repent. The word of God tells us in Ephesians 6 12 to 18 that we should put on the whole armor of God to effectively have victory over the devil and his cohorts anytime they come against us. As children of God, we are not to labor and at the end of the day, there will be nothing to show for all our efforts. We are blessed, favored and redeemed by the Lord. Our efforts will yield tangible results in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 28 verse 18, that God has given us all authority in heaven and on earth. This means that whatsoever we decree will come to pass. I therefore decree that all of your efforts will yield tangible results in the name of Jesus. I decree that your little efforts to achieve greatness will never go unrewarded in the name of Jesus. I pray over you that you will eat the work of your hands Premature death would not take you away untimely, thus preventing you from eating your labor. I scatter all the powers of darkness that are plotting how to make you walk like an elephant and eat like an ant in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will walk being a prince that you are. You will ride on horses. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pronounce judgment of God upon all the enemies that want you to beg before you eat. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3, that God is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil ones. I decree over you that God is strengthening you and protecting you from all the evil ones that are bent on frustrating all your efforts in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would never be an object of mockery to the evil ones in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies will never rule over you. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of Median that allows you to labor and when you are to harvest what you sow, they will come and steal it away from you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that from today, you will not have wasted labor in all that you set your hands to do. In the name of Jesus, 
By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you from every attack and will bring you into safety. I pray for you that the good work God has started in you will be completed even unto the day of Christ. No one stops it from manifesting in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that God will manifest his almightiness in all facets of your life. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 7 that the Lord will keep you from all evil. He will watch over you. I pray for you that you go about your business. God will watch over you and keep you away from the evil of the day in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you won't lose your life to the evil ones who want you to wander about like a vagabond. I pray for you that you will never be a tool of the enemies against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not lose your means of earning a living. God will always be your source and sustainer. I pray for you that God will give you the ability to overcome all temptations the enemies will send your way to distract and frustrate you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that God will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I pray for you. God breathes life into your efforts and makes them worthwhile. There is the speed of the Holy Ghost for you in your business and the work of your hands. I pray for you that you gain accelerated promotion in your workplace. I pray for you that you are not fearful of the enemy's antics because God is with you and is right hand would uphold you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the association of the enemies to make you murmur about your business is scattered. I decree over you that the works of your hands are blessed and there are no losses anymore for you in all you set your hands to do in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew 11, 12, that right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and it is only those that are violent that will take it by force. This scripture simply means that to enforce God's will on earth, you have to do it forcefully because the devil and his cohorts hate when God's will manifests in the lives of his children. The only language that the kingdom of darkness understands is the language of violence. If you have not been violent in times past in enforcing the will of God for your life, now is the best time to do that. It is not too late to do that. The Word of God is the most potent weapon you have to overthrow the enemy's plans against your life. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is the confidence that we have to confront the devil and all his cohorts with. Take these prayers, decrees and declaration I will make over you very intentionally. Please don't be casual about it as every word I'll be uttering won't fall to the ground. I decree over you that all the plans of the enemies against you fall to the ground. Now, none will see the light of the day. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, No weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are destroyed and I condemn all tongues wagging at you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter all the gathering of the kingdom of darkness that have sworn not to eat and drink until they see you perish. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you would never fall prey to the traps that the enemies would strategically place to catch you. I cover you and all the members of your family with the blood of Jesus. 
the blood of Jesus will shield you from all evil. I nullify all the agenda of the devil and his cohorts orchestrated at you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies will never divert all the resources that God has prepared for you. Whether the devil likes it or not for you, you will always triumph over him and all his minions. I decree that the plans of the enemies to frustrate all your efforts will be put to null and void. I decree that you put on the, all the armor of the Lord and you stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3, that God is faithful and it will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. I pray over you that God is strengthening and protecting you from the evil ones around you. I pray for you that you submit to God. You resist the devil and he frees from you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8.37 that we are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved us. I pray for you that you overcome the enemies all the time and they will fail in their plan to reinforce themselves. I decree that God is fighting for you and you hold your peace. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never become an object of ridicule for the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that there is no stagnation, demotion or retrogation for you. I pray for you that the enemies will not steal, kill, and destroy all the good things God has specially reserved for you in the name of Jesus. You walk in the abundance of life and all the days of your life. I pray for you that no matter the obstacles that come your way, you will always jump over them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that delay has ended in your life from today you begin to work in God's perfect timing for you I pray for you again that you will know God's will for your life by the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you the lines are falling for you in pleasant places and your path will keep on shining brighter every day even to the perfect day your victory is sealed already in the name of Jesus Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Word of God in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 says, that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. When God blesses a man, no force of darkness can oppose the blessing of God upon you, no matter how hard they might try. You are too blessed to be cursed and your blessings are sealed in Jesus Christ because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. Please say Amen as I make these declarations over you. I decree over your life that all that God has in store for you will manifest in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all the forces of darkness opposing the blessings of God upon your life will be exposed and destroyed. I decree that your blessings will be too hot for the enemy to handle in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the good work God has started in your life will be completed even unto the perfect day of Christ. Now is the time to personalize these prayers. God has placed his words in your mouth. Here is time to say these prayers in faith, believing that you will get what you ask of the Lord. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the blessings that God has given to me would never be opposed by the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the devil and his cohorts will be utterly confused as they plan to steal all the good things God has blessed me with. I declare and decree that all the powers of darkness that are plotting to take that which rightfully belonged to me to be scattered in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I call down the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the evil ones that are pretending to be happy with God's blessing upon me. I decree that all the blessings that God has blessed me with will never be hidden 
the world will see them and give glory to God. All the good things that were stolen from me by the evil ones in the past, I decree that there is a restoration in a hundredfold in Jesus' name. The word of God says that I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I decree that I am blessed and there is nothing the evil ones can do about it. The word of God says in Numbers 6, 24 to 26, that the Lord will bless me and keep me and make his face shine upon me and be gracious to me and lift up his countenance upon me and give me peace. I declare that the blessings of the Lord upon me will be permanent and no one will be able to steal it from me and the countenance of the Lord will keep on shining on me which will make people to keep on favoring me in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus I decree that all that the wicked ones that want to frustrate the blessing of God upon me are destroyed. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself and all the members of my family. I decree that I will show forth the blessings of the Lord upon me while still alive. I will never take an unfulfilled potential to the grave in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 67 verse 7 that God shall bless me and all the ends of the earth will tremble. I decree that men will begin to marvel at the extent that God will bless me this year in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, I begin to show forth the praises of God who has called me from the darkness and brought me into his marvelous light. I decree that I am blessed and I will be a blessing to others around me by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that the blessing of God upon me preserves me from all evil. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord directs me to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Begin to thank God for answering all the prayers you have prayed today. This is the confidence that we have that whatsoever we ask the Father in His name, He will give it to us. We know that we can't ask God for bread and he will give us stone. He's a loving father and is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that works in you. God bless and keep you. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. When God created you, he blessed you and gave you dominion over all the living things he has created. You might be saying that you are not sure if you are blessed because you are still experiencing lack and penury. But the truth is you are still blessed. God looks beyond your present situation and still calls you a blessing to many people. If God calls you blessed, you should also call yourself a blessing. The word of God says in Numbers 6, 24 to 26, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You have been blessed already in the Lord and you are to enforce the blessings that God has blessed you with because the devil and his cohorts will strive hard in order to inhibit the blessings that you have been giving. We will be enforcing and invoking the blessings that we have been blessed with, even if the devil likes it or not. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for averting curses that are hanging around us. We give you the praise because you have annulled all the curses that are working against us and you have nailed them to the cross. We are now blessed and above curses. The word of God says in 3 John 1, 2, that God wishes above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. 
by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will prosper in all sides and you will be in health even as your soul will continually prosper. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will be above all the curses that are lurking in your family. I pray for you that the Lord will make you not only a blessing, but a blessing to nations and generations in the name of Jesus. Philippians 2.13 says, For it is God who works in you, both to will and do of his good pleasure. I pray for you by the power in the name of Jesus, and I decree over you that God will keep on working in you and through you to wrought great exploits, which will be a blessing to nations and generations in the name of Jesus. As you obey the word of God in Malachi 3.10, by paying your tithe, the Lord will open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no room in need in the name of Jesus. The anointed working inside of you will attract favor and blessings to you from all sides in the name of Jesus. I decree that in those places where you have been rejected, you'll be accepted back because you are the accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that there is no more stagnation and limitation for you in any area of your life. I decree that you will flourish like a tree that is planted by the riverside in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that the young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but those that trust the Lord will not lack anything good. According to the word of God, I pray that all your needs are met and you will live the rest of your days in abundance and never in penury in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord in your inside will be expressed much more for the world to see in the name of Jesus. In Philippians 4:19, the word of God says that God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. By virtue of that word of God, I decree over you that from today, the Lord will keep on supplying all your needs and you will never lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Psalm 67 verse 7 says that God will bless you so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. By reason of the word of God, I pray that God will bless you beyond your expectation and imagination. And as he does this, man will fear him and exalt the name of God in your life in the name of Jesus. From today, I decree that you're going out and coming in or blessed in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You are blessed as you trust in the Lord and make him your confidence in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The word of God says that the gifts of God are without repentance. This means that what God has given to us freely can never be withdrawn or taken away from us. The gift of the Spirit are for you and it is made available for you so that you will use these gifts to edify the church and win souls to the kingdom of God. You can have these gifts if you will ask him. The Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 31 that you should earnestly desire the best gifts. When you desire these gifts and you ask God to give them to you, He will do just that because He said that you should ask and it will be given to you. So let us pray together in faith as we ask God for these gifts and for their manifestation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us all of you. Thank you for giving us your spirit in full measure and thank you because you are ready to give us your gifts without withholding anyone from us. Father, I pray for all that have not been baptized in the Holy Ghost listening to this message today. I pray that they receive the gift of the Spirit and that they begin to show its proof by praying in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Matthew 7, 7 that we should ask and it will be given to us. According to the Word of God, I pray for you that you receive the gift of the Spirit in full measure in the name of Jesus. 
Nehemiah 9.20 says that God gave his good spirit to instruct them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that God will pour out to you the gift of the spirit who will instruct you on the right thing to do part time and season in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in John 20, 22, that Jesus breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that the Lord will breathe a fresh outpouring of a spirit upon you and your household in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will manifest the spirit without measure since you have been given the spirit without measure in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 68 verse 18 that God has ascended on high, he has led captive captives. He has received gifts among men. According to word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will give you a measure of his gifts so that you will use it to edify the church in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, who is the greatest gift that you have ever been given, will cause you to begin to manifest all the gifts that he brought when he came to reside in you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will be given the gift of your choice. And as you are given the gift, you will profit the kingdom of God through it in the name of Jesus. I release the gift of discernment to you. And as you receive this gift, you will know the will of God for you per time and season. And you will be able to see deep into the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. I release the gift of prophecy to you. And as you receive this gift, you will exhort, comfort and edify the body of Christ in the name of Jesus and I decree over you that the gift of God's love is shed abroad in your heart in the name of Jesus from today I pray for you that out of your belly will flow rivers of living waters in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for you that you will be endowed with the gift of revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus and by the power in that name, I pray for you that the gift of the Spirit that has been dormant in your life due to you not exercising it, be awakened in the name of Jesus. I release a fresh unction upon you for you to walk effectively in the gifts of the Spirit that is within you. From today, I pray for you that your hands will wrath mighty miracles. You will raise the dead. You will cast out devils. You will open the blind eyes. You will make the lame walk and you will do mind blowing miracles in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will walk in the prophetic more than ever before in the name of Jesus. And I release the ability to make the gifts of God in your life to be seen by the world and in turn that will glorify God in your life in the name of Jesus. We bless you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Dying to yourself means forgoing the selfish, physical and egotistical desires of the world and still being committed to seeking God and his kingdom. The word of God says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And this kingdom... God works through people that are broken and yielded, a broken and a contrite heart he does not despise. If you want to be a mighty weapon and a battle axe, you must die to yourself. God loves people that are ready to go to any length for him. So today we will be praying for God to help us to die to ourselves and be totally out to him. The word of God says also in 1 Corinthians 3, 16, that our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost and a spirit is residing in us. By the reason of this, we know that God is the one that is at work in us and we are no longer the one living. In him we breathe, move and have our being. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will help you to know that you are no longer alive to yourself, but that you are alive unto God. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will breathe, move, and have your being in the Lord. 
I decree that your sensual lusts and desires are buried in the blood of Jesus. 1 John 2 verse 15 says that you should not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would not love the world and all the things there are in the world in the name of Jesus. You will love God more than all these things in the name of Jesus. Since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the incorruptible seed in you would never be corrupted by you or by any other external forces in the name of Jesus. You are a new creature of God. Therefore, all the things that are not of God will give way and you will begin to show forth the new you for the world to see in Jesus' name. And by the power in the name of Jesus, you will be broken and yielded to God's will and leading for you in Jesus' name. And even in the darkest night, you will still be broken to worship God in the name of Jesus. I release the grace to consecrate your entire being to the Lord, to the shame of the devil and to God's pleasure in Jesus' name. Since you have been crucified with Christ and you no longer live, but Christ that lives in you, by virtue of this, you will no longer be alive to yourself, but unto God in all that you do in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Galatians 5.24 that those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. According to the Word of God, I pray for you that you will always crucify the passions and lusts of the flesh daily in Jesus' name. You will sow to the Spirit and as you do that, you will reap eternal life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always worship God in spirit and in truth. I pray that you will be sold out of the gospel and in doing the bidding of the Lord at all times. The joy of the Lord would always make you ignore the mockery and jesting of the world as you go about pleasing God in the name of Jesus. There is no condemnation to you because you are in Christ Jesus. I pray that you daily carry your cross and chase after God in the name of Jesus. You will always offer your body as a living sacrifice that is holy and pleasing to the Lord in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus you will not also be conformed to the pattern of this world but you will be daily transformed by the renewing of your mind in the name of Jesus and I decree that in the name of Jesus you will always decrease and God will increase in you daily we bless you Lord for answering our prayers you are prayer answering God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. An average believer should be enlightened by the word of God so as to be able to know the will of God for you at all times. The word of God tells us in Ephesians 1 verses 17 and 18 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. The eyes of your understanding need to be enlightened so that you will know the purpose of your existence and so that you will know all the inheritance that you are supposed to be enjoying. But you are not enjoying because you are not conscious of them. Today we will be praying together for your eyes of understanding to be enlightened so that you will enjoy all the things that have been specially prepared for you in Christ Jesus. The Word of God says that we should ask until our joy is full and to also ask anything in His name and it will be given to us. And so let us pray together in faith. Father, we thank you for giving us the spirit of adoption wherein we can cry, Abba, Father. Lord, we give you the praise for buying us with your blood from the grip of sin and death. We are saying thank you, Lord, because today our eyes of understanding will be enlightened and we will know what you want us to do per time and season. 
Father, by your mercy, have mercy upon us in any way we are walking contrary to your will and purpose for our lives. The word of God says in Psalm 43 verse 3, All send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill, to your dwelling place in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the light in God's word will lead you on the right path and it will also lead you to the presence of the Lord always. I pray for you that any form of darkness in your life would give way as the light of God will expose dark areas in your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord would open your eyes for you to begin to behold wondrous things in his Lord in the name of Jesus. John 8, 12 says that Jesus is the light of the world and they that follow him will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. I therefore pray for you that you will not walk in darkness any longer as you have the light of the world living in you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened so that you will know why God created you and so as to be aware of all the inheritance that you are meant to enjoy as a child of God. I pray for you that you will not be confused about what to do at any point in your life as the word of God will open your eyes to secrets that would guide you in Jesus name. 2 Samuel 22 verse 29 says that the Lord is your lamb and the Lord will illuminate your darkness. I therefore pray for you that the Lord will cause his light to shine and illuminate all forms of darkness in your life in the name of Jesus. When your eyes of understanding are opened, you will be more sensitive to God's leading and promptings. And I pray that your spiritual senses are heightened and you are more sensitive to leading of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. Ezra chapter 9 verse 8 talks about how God enlightened the eyes of the Israelites and granted them revival even in their bondage. I therefore pray for you that the Lord will enlighten your eyes and will set you free from any form of bondage and will also revive you in the name of Jesus. The word of God will become more real to you as you study in daily in the name of Jesus. In areas of your life that you are confused as touching what to do, the life in God's word will illuminate you and reveal things that you do not know and cause you not to be confused any longer in the name of Jesus. The blueprint of your destiny will be made known to you in Jesus name. Psalm 18 28 says, For the Lord is our light. The Lord will illuminate our darkness. The Lord will always be your light even when you walk through the valley of peach darkness. And the Lord will illuminate the eyes of your understanding in Jesus name. You will be light to nations in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the realities of Jesus that are in the word of God will become known to you and you will walk in them much more in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for answering our prayers. It is in Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. The will of God for you is that you walk and live in the purpose he created you for. And the will of God is all summed up in his word and the specific words he tells you by the words of his mouth. It is also dependent on your will to either submit to it or remain adamant. You also must know that the will of God is never evil. His word says in Jeremiah 29 11 that the thoughts of God for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. The word of God says in Proverbs 19, 21, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. You might have your own will and ambitions, but they are still subject to God's will. Submitting to God's will for you will be the best decision you will ever make. It is time we pray that the will of God be done in our lives. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray Lord that your will be revealed to us and through us. 
And by the power in that name, we ask that your will for us will become clearer to us. Jeremiah 29 11 says that the thoughts you have towards us are good and not of evil to give us expected end. I pray that your good plans for us will begin to come to fruition in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your will be done in our lives as it is done in heaven in Jesus' name. As it's written in Matthew 6, 33, we should seek your kingdom first and your righteousness and all other things will be added to us. I pray, Lord, that you will help us seek your kingdom and your righteousness first. And as we do this, all our desires are met in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to seek and do your will at all times in the name of Jesus. At every point of our lives, Lord, we will always say, not my will, Lord, but let your will be done in the name of Jesus. We will be sensitive to know what you want us to do part time and season. Father, your word says in Romans 8, 14, that only those that are led by your spirit are your children. We pray, Lord, that you will help us to always be led by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to be discerning to know the difference between our will, the devil's will, and your will. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we will test and prove your will for us much more in the mighty name of Jesus. 3 John 1 verse 2 says, We are to prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. I pray, Lord, that we will walk in your will as regards our health and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. One of the first steps to discerning God's will is to obey him in the things he is communicating to us. And in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you will empower us to obey the specific instructions you have told us in the past and even in the present in the name of Jesus. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 says that all men are saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that as we go about doing your will, we will be richly rewarded. Your word says that you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. And by the power in your name, we ask the Lord, you will cause your face, Lord, to shine upon us. Our paths will be lightened in the name of Jesus. We pray that we will be accountable to your will always and we will respond to it by being submissive to it. We will be equipped to do the will of the Lord in all areas of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that we will not stray out of God's will for us in the mighty name of Jesus. As 1 John 2.17 says, the Lord is passing away and also it's lost. But the one who does the will of God lives forever. We ask you, Lord, that we will do your will. And as we do it, we will enjoy long life and health and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. We bless your name, Father. You are a prayer answering God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In everything, we're always told to give thanks in any circumstance. Thanksgiving is a prerequisite for every believer. God instructed us in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20, to give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks shows that we are grateful for the goodness and faithfulness of God towards us. When you thank God for showing you his fingers, he will show you his hands. I implore you always to give thanks to God and cultivate the culture and attitude of thanksgiving. When should I give thanks? The simple answer to this is, you should provide thanks both in the good and bad times. We will be dedicating our time now to giving thanks to God for all the things He has done for us in the past, in the present, and for what He will still do for us in the future. Let us do it together with all sincerity and intentionality and watch what God will do for you. Let's pray. Father God Almighty, 
We thank you for all the good things you have done for us in the past, present, and even for the future. We give you the glory, Lord, for making us alive, hale, and hearty. Thank you, Lord, for the provision of food, clothing, and shelter. We give you the thanks, Lord, for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for making us joint heirs with you. Lord Jesus, we give you the thanks for redeeming us from the curse of the Lord. Thank you because we are no longer bounded by any curse. The word of God in James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadows. We thank you, Lord, for giving us good gifts and making us enjoy all the good gifts you've given to us. We exalt your name, Lord, for making us sound mentally. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the journey mercies every day of our lives. We go out and we come back safely. It is not by our making, but by your mercy and grace, Lord. Father, we thank you for the children you have given to us. Thank you, Father, for the children you have given to us are for signs and wonders. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for making us not fall prey to the traps of the enemies. Our souls are escaped as a bird from the trap of the trappers. Lord Jesus, we are grateful. We thank you for making us dwell in safety and freedom. We give you the thanks for peace and harmony we're enjoying. We thank you, Lord, for the joy that is in us. Our joy is intact and it is not stolen by the devil and his cohorts. In the name of Jesus, we give you the praise for always fighting our battle for us against the evil ones. Lord, we thank you for the sound health we enjoy. We're whole and healthy. Let your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit who is a trusted friend and ally. In the name of Jesus, we exalt you, Lord, for blessing us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we are blessed and not cursed. Lord, we are grateful for frustrating the counsel and devices of the devil and his cohorts against us. Oh, Father, we appreciate your name for making our future and destiny secured in you because our lives are hidden in you. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18 say, To rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And so therefore, Lord, we thank you because we have been given the grace to rejoice always despite all circumstances. Father, we thank you for destabilizing the enemies that are plotting evil against us and putting the enemies to flight. Psalm 95 verses 1 to 5 says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. In the name of Jesus, we come to you, Lord, with a joyful shout to say thank you for all the good things you have done for us. We will always rejoice in the God of our salvation. And in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for answering all the prayers we have prayed in the past and also in the present. We give you the praise, Lord, for doing a new thing in our lives and families. Let your name be exalted, Lord, in Jesus' name. We give you praise, Lord, for receiving and accepting our prayers of thanksgiving. It is in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. If you were blessed after these prayers, do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.